Want to get a little spooky? Well, we're going to do that today with making the pumpkin centerpiece for your Halloween. Very easy to do. You're going to need very limited supplies. You're going to need a design bowl with a third of a block of floral foam, six or seven cattails, a few scary spiders, a little bit of barked wire, scissors, knife, wire cutters, and three or four pieces of leather leaf. In addition to make your pumpkins, we're going to use Fuji chrysanthemums. Now, to get started, you're going to take your block of floral foam and drop it in water. Once you've done that, you're going to want to start making a circle with greenery or the leather leaf. When it comes to leather leaf, you can get several cuts out of one piece. We're going to cut the tip off using our knife and then cut off what we call Y's. And look, see how this makes almost a Y shape? We're going to cut that several times and as you get to the larger brackets on the leather leaf you'll tear those off. Now when you go to insert them what you want to do is you want to run the stem along the edge of the container, the rim or what we call the baseline of the container. Run it in and what this does is cover your mechanics. Now once you've got your leather leaf all around the outside edge, you're going to start putting your chrysanthemums in. It's really important that, you know, I like to make things tall, large, huge arrangements, but this is going to be more of a compact design. So really what you want to do is keep the stem as close to the floral foam as possible. Leaving about four or five inches of stem, you put the two on the top. Then you're going to add two additional ones. It almost makes a north, south, east, and west if you're looking, thinking of map directions with a little bit of space in the center for the stem of the pumpkin. Once you've got those in, they're somewhat almost the same height, just a little bit of roundness to them. Then you're going to go around the outside edge with the rest of the pumpkins. Essentially what you want this to look like is half of a basketball. So if you think about the shape of the pumpkin, it'll be a basketball cut in half. Again, just like you did with the leather leaf, you're going to want to make sure that you bring those Fuji stems right in on the edge of the rim of the container. So feel for the rim of the design bowl and run the stem in along that direction. That way the arrangement will look like it sits in the container and not on top of the container. Another thing, important thing to remember is that a lot of times with flowers they have a face or the direction that their blossom looks at. This one is pretty straight, but in some occasions it might have a tilt to it. So when you go to insert it into the floral foam, make sure that you adjust for that insertion so the face is always facing the direction you want it to. As you can see, we essentially just have a very rounded shape, just a little round ball of all the Fujis in all different directions. Now we need to create the shape of the pumpkin. To do that, we're going to use the barked wire. Take a length of the barked wire, measuring it from the top of your pumpkin to the bottom of your pumpkin, leaving a little bit of space because what you want to do is enlarge the size of the design and visually your eye will fill in that gap between the Fuji and the barbed wire. Essentially this has a wire in the inside so you can insert it directly into the floral foam and we're going to do that every so often in a very random pattern. You want to make sure that you don't make it equal four little equal placements because what ends up happening in that case is it really doesn't have an organic feel to it. When I talk about organic, what I mean is it doesn't have a real natural, like it would grow in nature feel to it. 
So I don't want to have it very orderly, so instead of doing four sections to my pumpkin, I'm going to put five. Once you've got all your barked wire in, and notice that they kind of ramble. It's just like the, the spines of a pumpkin. They're not necessarily in even orderly fashion. You'll notice that they kind of meander through the design. They start at the base and come to the center. The next thing you need to do is to create your center pumpkin stem. Now I'm using cattails, and I'm going to make sure that all the furry part of the cattail is to the uppermost portion, and I'm going to cut off the tip of the cattails. Once I've done that, I'm going to cut kind of eye up the distance, measure it in, and it's always better to cut longer than shorter, so make sure if you're uncertain to cut a little bit longer than what you think, and then you can go back and cut it a little bit shorter. Then simply insert them into the center. Now you have the center portion of your pumpkin, the spines coming out. Let's add a little bit of leaf to make sure you have a little bit more of that fall flavor. So go out to your yard and gather some oak leaves or some vibrant colored fall leaves that are starting to turn yellow or orange, and then you can insert them into the foam. And look what I just happened to find hanging out in the yard. Some wonderful, gorgeous yellow and orange oak leaves. Simply cut a portion of them. and insert them into the top. Now that you've got that done, let's insert a little bit of color. We're going to use a product called Just for Flowers, Design Master product. It's a sheer tint, so it allows the pigment of the flower to show through, but just adding a little bit of flavor of the orange color. Simply just tint by spraying each of the Fuji blossoms with a little bit of the orange. Now we've used Tiger Lily to create that more pumpkin feel, and yet you still got the yellow undertone so that the yellow and then the orange throat shows through. Now last, but the best thing to do is add a little bit of scariness to it, and we're going to do that by taking these little bitty spider rings that you can find at any store, clip them, and place them on your pumpkin. Have a happy Halloween.